Hi there, I'm Alex from Hammer Missions and in this tutorial we'll be looking at cell tower inspection end to end. So as you can see here we have our, our map and we'll select tower mapping. That gives a brief description of how to map a cell tower with a video at the bottom there. But actually what we're going to do is do this one in the field as most towers on, uh, on maps are obviously flat. So, here's our cell tower out in the field. As you can see, it was a little bit windy. So, this is me just setting up, making sure my aircraft is suitable, my drone is suitable, should I say. And the props, place it at a safe location. So is the drone taking off. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly over to our cell tower, as you can see there in the bottom right hand corner. Over the top of the silos. And we're going to place the drone over the top of the cell tower, bring the camera to a full 90 degrees. Place the drone over the top of the cell tower. And then we're going to use our, once we're in place, and from here we can actually plan our mission while we're in the air. So yeah, over the top of the cell tower, then we select tower mission or tower mapping, and from here we can press the C2 button, and the C2 button marks the exact middle of the cell tower and gives us our parameters. So what we can do from here, we can move away to a, to a safe distance or you can land the aircraft to do your parameters and refly it. So we're going to change all our parameters here on the right. As you can see I've, I've moved away from the cell tower to do this. As I said you can land, plan your mission on the ground and then take off again. So from here I've applied the altitude, the top altitude of 93.8 feet for the time being. As you can see we've got our, our flight mode set as circles. And my main issue here was the tree line just over to the right of the tower. So what I'm now doing is bringing the aircraft over on top of that tree line so I can gauge the height. So when the drone is doing its mapping mission in circles, it doesn't rotate around into the tree. So there you go, I've done my bottom altitude of 67, oh, 62.7 feet. What we can do, you can either hit the C2 button well, there's the small drone icon there on the right in underneath, well, by the side of top altitude, bottom altitude, object radius, etc. And you can tap on that and that will actually collect the altitude for you. So I'm just lining back up, making sure that everything is safe. And I am at a safe height. Make sure I'm above those trees so I don't fly into them as it's circling. There you go, I've readjusted the altitude. So, from here, we can change our start point. So I've moved our start point further round which I feel is a safer position. I can see the see the aircraft. We'll also change our drone type to Mavic 2 Pro, which is what we were flying. As you can see there, I've got my go home height at 180. So here we go. Press OK and press fly. I'm 
checking a few last minute parameters see it's now gone yellow it's uploading the mission to the drone the drone will fly to its set altitude cameras focused and it will start its flight obviously this is sped up by times eight as you can see there so what I've done here is I've stopped the mission I've opened back up the parameters and I'm going to change my image overlap to 80% as it was currently set before on 20%. And we want this to be overlap because we want to create a 3D model. So that proves you can do that in flight. You can stop, readjust your parameters. And then we will restart the mission. We'll fly back to the start point and restart, collecting data at an 80% overlap instead. So here we go, this is the mission running, the new mission at 80%. Obviously we've sped this up. You can see there in the bottom right hand corner, it making its way around the tower. And the altitude is dropping. So there we go, that's our data collected. Now we're now back on the ground. Packing our equipment away. Ready to go back to the office and process the data we have collected. So now we're back in the office and create a new project. We'll name that Squibs Farm Cell Tower. And there's a tower mission. Then we can add a description and we can associate it with the project if needs be. Press continue. This is where we'll upload our images, which I had saved on the desktop. Select all your images. Open them. Let's check those images. Press continue and that will upload it. And we can create a project. That will upload the data. So once the data is complete, obviously I didn't show that happening because that would take too long. This is what we get. This is our result. So you can see at the bottom there is all our photography that we took and the mini map shows the flight around the cell tower so we can come up here we can press process and this will process it into a 3d model which we've already done and there is our 3d model now obviously we only caught the top part of the cell tower it was too dangerous to go any lower because of the tree line there's our cell tower all rendered in 3D. So we can rotate around that cell tower. It shows its exact location in 3D space. There it is. It's only collected from a small amount of images. Obviously, the more data you collect, the better the quality is going to be. As this is just an example. You can also annotate those images. Press Shift. You can draw a box around the part of the image you want to annotate. So in here, you can write your comments. And that will show up on your mini map in orange. There we are. OK, 
can also report on the data. Which won't show your report, but can include a guest accessed as well. And you can obviously share the project. So we'll remove someone that's there already. And we already have that shared with team. You can also check this box and make it shareable via a link. And that's an end-to-end -end cell tower capture using Hammer Missions. Thanks very much for watching.